Hello, this is George Senda, the real, official, authentic, original, the one, the only, the official, the guy from Pittsburgh, except no cheesy YouTube substitutes, imposters, and definitely trolls. And I got the usual garbage troll email today. I want to help you, but why are you buying everything on Amazon? And that immediately generated into two attack emails. So I blocked that person and um, deleted the emails. I wish they'd come up with some new material. You know, after eight years, come up with something original. Anyway, uh, uh, this is a very belated Happy Valentine's Day wish. I have been under the weather all day because Mr. Airblower and his friends were cutting the lawn or something this morning, and all day I was uh, gasping for air because I'm allergic to grass, and they blow the pollen around, the dust around, so I've had real issues. Uh, Kathy's fine. Uh, the kitties are fine. I have not seen Gray, or Cece as they like to call her, but she's fine. They've seen her where she lives, and... Um, I found out a revelation today. I met a lady who is involved in spaying and neutering uh, cats in the area. And she told me something about Orangey. Orangey is an abandoned kitty. He's not a stray. Some people right across in the senior center, and maybe that's why Orangey hangs out there, instead of here before the maniac in this liver chased him away. Orangey used to have a home, and his name was JJ. And the people moved, and they told people in the neighborhood, oh, he'll be fine on his own. We can't take him with us. Well, anybody who does that to a dog or a cat needs to be taken out and uh, dealt with. It's a terrible thing to do to an animal. Animals are not going to be fine on their own when they're left to starve to death. But the lady uh, walked up to Orangey, gave him some water, and we started talking, and she knows who I am, and she knows what I do for the kitties. And she told me Orangey's real name was JJ. And... She also told me about the little gray tabby that got adopted and taken in. Its teeth were bad, and if it hadn't been taken in, its teeth were bad. It would have died. From, it, its teeth were abscessed. And I was feeding that little girl for over two years. She now is a home, and it's very happy and lives with two other kitties. So that made it all worthwhile. So anybody who gives me any grief about I'm um, spending money on Amazon or eBay or whatever, let her just shut up. I'm not. I'm going to read your stupid emails and throw them in the garbage. Anyway, uh, that made my Valentine's Day very happier. Uh, Kathy um, is fine. She took a nap. <laughs> she is tired. She was tired when she came over the other day because Cleo keeps waking her up at 4.30 in the morning for treats. And I did clean 80% um, of the kitchen floor. I swept it again and mopped it. But I have to go over in the corner, and I'm going to wait on that until I get all the bags out of the way and then can move the water cooler to somewhere. I've got to take the tray table down and take everything off of there and then move the water cooler to where I can clean it and have some room, and I can't do it with a tray table in the way. So the water cool eventually is going to go in the corner, and then everything's going to be moved over slightly. I don't know what I'm going to do with that George Foreman grill. It takes up an awful lot of room, and I don't use it very often. It's a very good grill, but uh, I don't know. Anyway, that's all I managed to do today because I spent from about... 10 or 11 o'clock this afternoon, this morning until the late afternoon till about 4 o'clock, just having breathing difficulties. 
I hope you all had a great day. I hope you were your, your beloved or your significant other or your domestic partner. And you had a wonderful Valentine's Day. And I was very happy to see my sweetie yesterday. Without Kathy's help and love and assistance, I wouldn't be here today. Because I got very sick years ago. And uh, with my breathing difficulties, my first sinus infection. And without her help, I would have died. So... Uh, one day I will get my medical records and do a video showing the stacks of medical records for the people like the evil owner of MD who think I make up my medical issues. People who know me don't know I don't. By the way, I'm very happy to hear from Jeremy. No joy. And uh, he had dropped off the radar. So he's got a bigger position. More responsibility. He's very busy, but we'll get on the phone one day, and maybe we'll do a video together on baseball season. All right, this is Jordan Senda, the real official, original, the one, the only, the guy from Pittsburgh. Uh, by the way, the Superman cookie jar is over to the left of the Westinghouse TV. I cleared a space off for it. That thing is awfully big. And I talked to Patty. She's going to take me out on the 28th with Kathy and get me the one, two, three, probably about five, four things I need to take these plastic shelving off the kitchen counter, clear everything off the counter, put everything loose in the plastic shelving, uh, plastic drawers. And get rid of the plastic shelving so the kitchen counter can be clean once and for all. And this phone will be active as a phone on the 28th. I wish that UFO Con were after the 28th because then I could do better with them maybe than having just the phone. Because it has issues with if I do more than one video, uh, you run out of room, you run out of space. So. There is an adapter I can get, but I won't be able to have it till after UFOCon to um, attach it to a portable hard drive. Of course, in a perfect world, I'd have uh, assistance. My, I'd have another iPad. Then I wouldn't be using the phone at all or the Vivitar camera because then I would be able to do videos on the iPad. And I will be taking off after after UFO kind of hanging on the phone. We'll be taking some time off to take care of my house and uh, do things that I need to do. All right, it's uh, ten o two. Have a great night. Stay wet, warm, dry, or cool as the case may be. Stay warm and dry, and I hope you're comfortable. And I hope you're very happy today. So. I'll be back in a minute with another video. This is George Senna. Bye-bye for now.